Greetings, welcome to this new video about Thevenin's theorem. In this video, I will demonstrate the application of Thevenin's theorem through a step by step example explanation. By following along carefully, you will gain a clear understanding of how to apply Thevenin's theorem to solve practical problems. Let's dive in and begin with the solve the problem number 18. Let's consider this network consisting of five resistors labeled R1 through R5, as well as three independent voltage sources VA, VB, and VC. The question now is to calculate the value of IX using Thevenin's theorem. IX is the current through the resistor R2. Let's move on to the solution by applying the Thevenin's theorem between terminals A and B, we can replace this circuit with the voltage source in series with the resistor, which will be denoted as VTH and the RTH. In our example, RTH is connected in series with the R2, which plays the role of the load. I will start first with the determination of the Thevenin's resistance. This step can be done by disconnecting R2 and removing all independent voltage sources in the circuit. That means the voltage sources will be replaced by a short circuit. The Thevenin's resistance represents the equivalent resistance between terminals A and B. That means RTH is equal to the parallel combination of R4 and R5 connected in series with R3 parallel to R1. And I will consider RA is the parallel combination of R4 and R5 connected in series with the R3. That means RA is equal to R4 times R5 over R4 plus R5 plus R3. And if we replace the resistors with their numerical values, we get RA is equal to 10.9 ohms. RTH is equal to the parallel combination of RA and uh, R1. Therefore, RTH can be calculated using the following formula. RA times R1 over RA plus uh, R1. And if we replace RA and R1 with their numerical values, we obtain RTH is equal to 5.21 ohms. After finishing the determination of the Thevenin's resistance, we proceed to calculate the Thevenin's voltage. The Thevenin's voltage is basically the open circuit voltage calculated between terminals A and B when R2 is uh, disconnected. To find the open circuit voltage VOC, I will apply the mesh analysis method. And I will consider this as mesh 1 and this as mesh 2 and this as mesh 3. And I will consider I1 is the current in mesh 1, I2 is the current in mesh 2, and I3 is the current in mesh 3. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 1, we can write negative VA plus R1 times I1 plus VOC plus VB is equal to 0. The current flows here is equal to 0 because we have an open circuit. That means I1 is equal to I2. And if we replace I1 with I2 here and the resistor and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain negative 2 plus 10 times I2 plus VOC is equal to 0. Now, by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 2, we can write R4 times I2 minus I3 plus R3 times I2 minus VOC minus VB is equal to 0. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain 11 times I2 minus I3 minus VOC minus 10 is equal to 0. Let's move on to mesh 3. By applying Kirchhoff's voltage law in mesh 3, we can write R4 times I3 minus I2 plus R5 times I3 minus Vc is equal to 0. And if we replace the resistors and the voltage with their numerical values, we obtain 11 times I3 minus I2 
minus 12 is equal to 0. Now by performing 3 plus 11 times 2, we obtain 120 times I2 minus 11 times VOC minus 122 is equal to 0. And now by performance, performing 4 minus 12 times 1, we derive one equation in terms of uh, VOC. That means VOC is equal to negative 98 over 23, we get negative 4.26 volt. VTH is equal to VOC, that means VTH is equal to negative 4.26 volt. After finishing the calculation of RTH and VTH, we can calculate IX. IX is given by VTH over R2 plus uh, RTH. And if we replace R2, RTH and VTH with their numerical values, we obtain IX is equal to negative 280 milliamps. After completing the calculations, I perform a simulation using SPICE to verify our results. Now let's proceed to the SPICE environment. Here our networks drawn in SPICE simulator. This is, is the original circuit and this is, is the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. I connect here a number meter in order to calculate the current IX through the resistor R2. And here is I connect also I connect also a number meter in order to measure the current through the resistor R2. Let's move on to analysis. This say analysis calculate nodal voltages. We can see here that IX is equal to negative 280 milliamps in, or in the original circuit and IX is equal to negative 280 milliamps in uh, the Thevenin's equivalent uh, circuit. From the simulation, it becomes clear that the current IX is similar when using both the original circuit and the Thevenin's equivalent circuit. This simula similarity validates the correctness of our calculations. All right, thank you for watching this video. If you have any question, do not hesitate to contact me by email or leave a comment under this video and I will answer you as soon as possible. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and share. See you next time in another video about Thevenin's theorem. Take care and bye-bye. Uh,